Hey, how's it going, Pabli Connect users? Uh, how I hope you're doing well. This is Hector. I wanted to show you this quick tutorial on how we can integrate two platforms, which is going to be ManyChat, the, the biggest chatbot platform out there, with Slack. And it's going to be possible. We're, we're going to be able to integrate and send information uh, between ManyChat to Slack through and with the help of Pavli Connect. So let's just dive into it. So you log into your Pavli Connect account. Um, first thing, let's just create a new workflow. Remember to label all your, just label everything. Let's save it. So mini chat to Slack. So first thing we're gonna do, we're, we're, you guys know there's a bunch of apps in, in Pavli Connect. Let's just select many chat so I can show you how we can integrate and send information. Let's choose the method which is going to be the external request and we're going to see the webhook URL. And uh, second, the, the next step is going to be let's go to many chat to set up the flow. Here we go. I did this pretty simple and basic um, flow inside many chat. Let's select this. Uh, we're going to ask the customer or a potential customer um, what's your email. After they give us their email, we're, we're going to we're going to save it as a system field. So reply type is going to be an email. We're going to save it to system field. This is on. We're going to perform an action after they give us their their email, and uh, this is going to be the error message in case in case they don't give us the 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 right they they don't give us real email or not a real email but they don't give us an email uh, and th that's going to be the error and there's going to be a skip button you know it's it's always optional for them to uh give their information if they don't want to give their information i mean they they have the right to not give it to you and when when they uh input the uh, uh um a real email we're gonna create an action. When when we create an action, we're gonna do an external request. So there's one more step here. We select the action, which is gonna be the external request. Let's open the external request. Let's edit the request. And here we go. It's it's action. It's actually asking us for a request URL. It's gonna be a uh, uh, the request type is gonna be a post. So remember the webhook we have over here. Let's copy and then let's paste it in here. So at this point, basically if we test it, it's gonna be working, but there's gonna be an error. That's because we haven't told ManyChat what information we wanna to send to Pavli Connect. So let's go to body, let's add full subscriber data. In this, in this case, we just wanna send all the information, you know, all the custom fields, just everything you guys have about this, uh, about this customer. The first name, last name, uh, you know, the gender, you know, all the information you guys have, and um, you can you can actually add variables like erasing this one, adding variables, and selecting specific information. So that that could be also helpful for this for these uh, testing purposes. Let's just uh, do go with full subscriber data. Let's test the request, and. There we go, 200. Okay, the, it's a success and response accepted. So that's pretty cool. But let's try. Let's go back to Public Connect and let's uh, capture webhook response to be able to see the information we're getting from ManyChat. So let's test it again. Now, now that now that the, the that now that uh, Pavli is uh, waiting for uh, response, let's test the request again. It's gonna send the information. Response accepted. Let's go back. Let's wait for it to be there. There we go. It's this is amazing that we're able to see all the information just displayed like this. See all the the information: page ID, the the user ID, first name, last name, gender, all that information, custom fields, whatever you guys have inside uh, ManyChat. So what we want to do is send this information to some of this information to Slack. In this case, we're just gonna send a, send an email. So send the email, like a notification with the email and insert it, insert it. So let's select Slack. 
let's just send um, a message to a channel without the image. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff you could do, but I'm just selecting this one to test it out. Let's connect. When when you press connect, there's another screen that comes out, and um, you can connect to your to your Slack account. You press connect. It's gonna ask you for the to log in to your to your Slack account, and it's gonna actually be saved as a credential. In this case, I already did it, so I have it here. It's even it's even uh, labeled. So we're gonna select my credentials. Let's save, and let me show you. I have in my Slack account, my Slack app. I have a bunch of channels. So I created one channel which is called ManyChat. That's where I want the information to go. So let's go back to Public Connect and we're gonna see the list of all the channels I have. In case they don't appear right away for some reason, you can just click refresh and the, the it's gonna it's gonna grab all the channels again. But I have my my the the, the channel I want to test is gonna be in the inside mini chat. Uh, yeah, the, the, the mini chat channel. That's the one I selected. And let's personalize the message I want to send to Slack. So, hey, we have a, a new potential customer. This is the email. And if we click this button, we're going to see all the information that we got from mini chat. So there's a there's an email here. There's an email here, but this is not actually the 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 field. This is going to be the, the the system field. Email. It's selected and it's going to insert that information here. Of course, it's dynamic, so it's going to be changed. It, it it's not going to send that email that I just that, that we can see displayed here. It's going to send actually the the email from each of the potential customer that goes into the flow and sends the information to Slack. At to, to public connect and then sends the information to Slack. Let's contact ASAP. Okay, this is a pretty cool feature bot name. You could just do whatever, you can just name your bot whatever you want to. In this case, just put Pabli bot. You can actually uh, grab a link with an icon and put it in, in, in here in the bot icon. It selects, a, it, it allows you to, to paste the link and it's actually gonna appear as if the bot has that image, like if it if it's the, uh, if it's the bot's uh, profile picture. In this case, I don't have a link right now. So to save time, we just uh, press save and we can actually send the test request to see if it's working and Let's go to let's go to Slack, and here we go. Pablibot, we we have a new potential customer. This is the email. This is the, the the email we got from the customer. Let's contact ASAP. Okay, let's just erase this test because it's not like a real one. It's just a test. Let's go back to ManyChat. Uh, not to ManyChat. Well, actually, yeah. Let's save this. There we go. We get, we have our our workflow. Um, supposedly it's working, but let's go and put it to the test. That's you always have to do tests to see if everything's working properly. So let's publish this flow inside ManyChat. Let's do a preview, and we should get the message inside a Facebook. There we go. What's your email? It's asking us for the email. And we have two options. Usually, Facebook. If you usually Facebook detects that you have an email, of course, you need to have an email to have a Facebook account, and it's going to display display it there just for to make it easier and faster for you just to click it, and you're going to send the email, or you could just type the email. But let's uh, select the. Let's just click on the email we have displayed here, and it sent, and there we go. We have a response back, which is. Thanks. Let's go to the flow. When when they capture the email, it does external request and it's going to reply with this message. It's going to be thanks. And 
now that we tested the the the, the flow, we t we send the information through Messenger. Let's go to Slack. Let's see, we have the information there, and there we go. Pavlibot, we have a new potential customer. This is the email. This is the one we just added right now in the test through uh, messen Messenger. Let's contact ASAP. So there we go. Basically, everything is integrated and everything's working properly. So can you guys uh, see that potential and, and all the opportunities you're going to be able and, and all the and, and all the time you're going to be saving just integrating all your all your um, your um, apps and platforms and everything just sending information from one to another it's going to save you a bunch of time so i hope this little tutorial helps you solve this problem for 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 whatever use case you you need you, you need it for and um let's see you let's let's um i hope we see you in the next uh video take care uh, be safe and keep using Public Connect. It's amazing. See you later.